Hi, my name is Gareth Roberts. I'm the head of propulsion at Verge Motorcycles and Donut Lab. So I'm in, uh, basically in charge of developing the, the new motor technology products that we've got today. Um, I've been in the industry for over 30 years designing um, diesel engines and now in the last 15 years designing uh, in-wheel motors for various different companies. I want to talk today a little bit about the unsprung mass myth that's around um, in-wheel motor technologies. So the first thing that a lot of people say when they hear we're putting motors in the wheels is, oh yeah, what about unsprung mass? So unsprung mass is not as much of an issue as people think it is. Lotus did a study where they took a Ford Focus, which is a fairly light car, so it's a car that should be affected by unsprung mass. That um, Ford Focus had a 50 kilogram unsprung mass to start with, they added another 30 kilograms of unsprung mass to that to take it up to 80 kilograms. They then made a subjective um, analysis. They got drivers to drive these cars to see if that was discernible. And the majority of drivers cannot discern that extra 30 kilograms of unsprung mass. That's to do with rideability, handling, safety, and all those things. The rideability and drivability of the car is really controlled by the suspension. And there's tweaks you can make to the spring rates and the damping rates which will um, make the unsprung mass just not be an issue anymore. So the other thing to realize is that you've got other advantages of an in-wheel motor in terms of control, because you can control the torque at the wheel individually and very, very quickly. You can do other things that make the, the car a lot safer. Even the small kind of detrimental unsprung mass is more than that way by the positive advantage you get of having the, the unique control at each of the four corners of the wheel.